Understanding Filing Period, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of the phrase, filing period. This is a common term used in various contexts, especially in legal, financial, and administrative areas. Let's explore what it means and how to use it effectively in your conversations and writing. The term, filing period, refers to a specific time frame during which documents, applications, or reports must be submitted to an authority or organization. It's a deadline-driven concept. This period is usually set by laws, regulations, or organizational policies. Understanding this term is crucial for compliance in various sectors, such as tax filing, legal procedures, or academic applications. 2.1 In Taxation In taxation, the filing period is the time during which taxpayers must submit their tax returns to the government. For example, in many countries, the tax filing period is often in the early months of the year following the end of the financial year. 2.2 In legal settings. In legal contexts, a filing period might refer to the timeframe within which legal documents, like lawsuits or responses, must be submitted to a court. Missing this period can result in penalties or dismissal of a case. 2.3 In academic and professional applications. Universities and professional bodies often have a filing period for applications. This is the window of time during which prospective students or members can submit their applications for admission or certification. Adhering to the filing period is crucial. Missing these deadlines can lead to various consequences, including fines, loss of rights, or missed opportunities. It's always advised to be aware of these periods and prepare your documents well in advance. I hope this video has helped clarify what a filing period is and why it's important. Remember, being aware of and respecting these timeframes is key in many aspects of our professional and personal lives. Stay tuned for more insights into English language usage. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.